by 1980, Exxon's own scientists knew that their products add to global warming. Exxon executives then started a cover-up campaign, just as the tobacco industry once did for its products, same same dirty deeds, but global and intergenerational rather than individual in consequences. So I'm not, not disputing that increasing CO2 emissions in the atmosphere is going to have an impact. It'll have a warming impact. The, the, how large it is, is what is very hard for anyone to predict. And depending on how large it is, then projects how dire the consequences are. In the fall of 2015, an investigation by the Pulitzer Prize winning Inside Climate News, as well as the Los Angeles Times and the Columbia School of Journalism, revealed a trove of documents from scientists inside oil giant ExxonMobil, showing that Exxon scientists understood the mechanisms and consequences of human-caused climate change as early as the late 1970s and early 1980s. Become informed. Why do United States politicians deny human-caused climate change when climate scientists and others confirm that the release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere add to global warming and climate changes? Question the deniers. Ask for their science. They have none. They have manufactured doubt and ideology and nothing else. This website leads to the climate deception dossiers, climate science history, and webmaster essays. Do an internet search for The Discovery of Global Warming, a free book by Spencer Wart, a renowned physicist. Learn about climate science and its history. Visit Climate Deception Network and other environmental and ecologically related websites often. And remember, climate science deniers have no science only conjured up ideologies with big money backing.